Hello, Captains! Welcome to my continuing Let's Play series on the Romulan faction as a Riemann character. In the last mission, we found some secrets around Hobus, and we ended up having to go through the Iconian portal and ended up on an unknown Romulan vessel. Since I'm logging into the game after exiting out of the game from that last mission, it has dropped me off here back at Hobus. But once we pick up this mission and start it, I'll be back to where we ended in the last video, I think. But first I have to claim the mission, which is called Mind Game today. Trapped on a Talshiar ship, you will find yourself unable to resist the orders of your new master. Sub Commander, I hope this mission reaches you. Your cover as a Talshiar agent has been blown, and your location is currently unknown. Stay alive. We're looking for you. Depending on where you are, perhaps you can salvage this mission. If there's any intelligence you can recover before you are discovered, bring it back. This mission can only be completed as a single player. Board the IRW Nile from the Hobus system. And look at all these things we're going to get here. We're going to get a data recorder. A disrupting photon torpedo what does that do I guess it does a lot of kinetic damage we've got a trait unlock ground shape trait called deprogrammed that we can use and a choice of some plasma weaponry so let's begin mind game this mission is a little trippy I do remember this from the last time I played this faction so here we are. This is um, apparently Hakiv's ship. That's what it's telling me. Okay, well, let's do this thing. It looks like we have an unexpected guest. Take our visitor somewhere more comfortable and contact Empress Sela. I'm looking forward to our time together. Wow, so it dumped me right on their bridge. <laughs> what a portal. You'll save yourself a lot of pain if you tell us what actions Detan plans to take against the Tal Shiar. Well, I'm not telling Worm. I know ways to loosen your tongue. And there's Sila. Calm down. Both of you. I recommend that you cooperate. Hakiv can be very... creative. Her eyes are so creepy. Just look at what happened to Taurus. Now Starfleet is hunting her too. If she's lucky, she'll spend the rest of her life in a Federation penal colony. You tricked her. She didn't know that the device would cause a supernova and destroy the homeworld. And she was loyal to you. I'm not. What can I expect? Who do you think we are? Everything I do is in the best interests of the Romulan people. All of them. Our methods may be extreme, but they are just. Now you'll learn what else our masters taught me how to do. Uh-oh. And here comes the mind torture. And this is where things get weird, folks. Indoctrination percent. Get duty assignment, not feeling like yourself. So it appears I'm in a cage, but am I? Why does my head hurt so much? What did they do to me? The tall have been messing with your head. Stay strong. You can fight through this. Let's back up a second. This is opened up. I want to see what's in here. 
weapons. That could be handy. No, we have to get our duty assignment. Because they are indoctrinating us. And look what clothes I'm wearing. My, I just, I just realized this. My hood is still on, but I'm in um, Tal Shiar clothing. Look at that. Talk to assignment officer. Welcome to the ranks of the Tal Shiar. Colonel Hakiv has taken an interest in your progress, and he ordered me to assign you tasks to test your compliance in addition to your normal training. Here's your schedule for the day, and here's a tip. If you give in to the conditioning, life will be much easier for you. We have people who try to fight it, but no one can resist forever. Report to the security chief. Tactical training, meet security chief, engineering training, science training. Well, I have free roam of the area. It can't be. I thought everyone else escaped Taurus' base. Are you going to fight me all day? That's one of my bridge officers. For real. So you're, you're Hakeev's newest pet. He asked me to test out your conditioning in order to make sure we can trust you as a Tal Shiar operative. I just have a few easy tasks I need you to perform. What do I need to do? First, pick up that disruptor on the table. Um... Okay, so here's the deal, right? My character, again, being evil, heck yeah, I'm going to take the weapon because I'm thinking at this point I can use it against them. Pick up weapon. I want that weapon. Why would you do what the Talisha officer tells you? You know he's going to make you use that weapon. Talisha always follow orders. Pick up that weapon. Yeah, pick up the weapon. I want the weapon. I want to use it. You're a better person than this. No, I want it. Now use the disruptor to kill your friend Viril. Okay. <laughs> that was easy. Next. You didn't have to do that. You're doing well. <laughs> Talk to security chief. Well done. I sense some hesitation back there, but that's nothing a little time won't fix. We need to let the indoctrination process really take hold. Too bad we couldn't really bring Varel here for you to kill. Now that would have been a test. That wasn't... See, I know it's not real. Unfortunately, this was only a simulation. But you still passed your test. Congratulations, soldier. Head to the engineering lab to begin your assignment. Okay. <laughs> I actually want to be with the Tal Shiar. I would love to be part of the Tal Shiar. I would love to be armed. I would uh, love to be in control, actually. That's my character I'm playing, so why not? I know it's a little counterintuitive to where you probably are supposed to play this mission, but that's how I'm going to play it. I don't have time for pleasantries. You're the third recruit I've had to deal with today, and I'm on a tight schedule. You're going to help me make Thaleron weapons. Yes, I know. Thaleron weapons are banned by the Federation and the Klingon Empire, and even your precious Rep Romulan Republic. Well, guess what? I don't care. And you're helping me make these weapons, whether you want to or not. Here's a list of the parts I need. Gather the parts for a Thaleron weapon. Absolutely. I will definitely do this. We need uh, Thalon generator, pulse modulator, power cell, all them things. Yeah, get a, what was it, power cell, get power cell. You're beginning to understand. Indeed, I am. Get a Thalon pulse modulator.
and a Thaleron generator. Excellent. Let's build this thing. Excellent. You're not completely incompetent. Now let's test your basic mechanical skills. Time to assemble all those parts in an easy to deploy package. Use the console in the center of this room to manufacture a Thaleron mine. Absolutely I will. Well, I'm guessing I need to add reaction catalyst. Optimize pulse rate. And regulate power flow. Well done. Well, thank you. Everything appears to be up to spec, but I want you to test the device before I sign off on your work. There's a display case over there with some life forms in it. Let's see how they fare against your weapon. Don't worry, the case is shielded. We will be completely safe. Of course. I like testing things on living things. Let's do this. Beam Thaler on weapon to test chamber. Detonate. Ah, oh, look, it jumped right in it. <laughs> jumped inside the Thaleron. Oh, that is sweet. I likey. Likey, likey, likey. I never get tired of watching Thaleron weapons detonate. Me either. Well, you're not completely useless, and I'll say as much in my report to the Colonel. I've seen people like you before. Isn't it amazing how much you can get done without that conscience nagging you? I believe your next assignment is in the Borg Tech Lab on the other end of this deck. Report to the Borg Tech Lab. Awesome, and my indoctrination process is 60%. We're moving right along. Ah, Borg stuff. I can't wait to get started with this project, and you should be excited too. You're going to assist me with some very interesting research. We're going to install some modified Borg implants into the subject. They're fascinating devices. I think we'll learn a lot from this procedure. Will the patient survive? The test subject hadn't really thought about it. No, the subject probably won't survive, but the information will be extremely valuable. If you'd like, I'll note this noble sacrifice in my report. Install a Borg device in the test subject. Why, certainly, I'd be glad to. Um, I need to do what? Ah, here we go. Prep the Borg eye implant. Hmm, install eye implants. Awesome, there we go. What have we learned, sir? Let's test it. Very nice. We are getting some fascinating data from the device you implanted, and you performed a surgery without such, with such skill. Have you ever considered working in a medical research full-time? Well, I guess not. I hear that Colonel Hakeev has his own plans for you. In the meantime, though, I'm going to make use of your newfound talent. Please install a second Borg device in the subject. You got it, sir. I'm eager. Prep the Borg arm implant. Install implants. Sweet. Test implants. There are five lights. Ah, I'm a professional. Thank you. 100% indoctrination. Sweet. You are magnificent. You are magnificent. I wish you could stay, but I'm afraid, though, that our time together is done. Report to the brig and rest until your next assignment. It's been such a pleasure working with you. I can always use good assistance. Of course. I love being helpful. I am nothing if not helpful.
This place is a maze. Talk to Subcommander Kimmick. Soldier, now that you've successfully completed your medical training, we need to recalibrate your medical files. Report to the med bay. Okay. Nope, this way. No, oh, they took me out. You're awake. You've been through a lot. I hope there aren't any residual effects. When you're up to it, come talk to me. Um... What happened? And who are you? Talk to Kimmick. Welcome back. You may not remember this, but we've met before. The conditioning you underwent can affect short-term memory. My name is Kimmick. I've been working undercover for the Romulan Republic for months now. When I saw you on board, I knew that Hakiv would be indoctrinating you and that I needed to do something. It took some time to find the right moment. Now we need to make your journey through through fire and back worth something. Hakiv has a personal laboratory in the back of the Borg Tech research area where he keeps his private research and information. This is data that even Emperor Sela doesn't know about. If you can get your hands on those files and get them back to the Republic, it will be a real victory over Hakiv. We'll finally have the proof we need to go on the offensive against the Tal Shiar. Access Hakiv's private data. Aw oh, man. So all that stuff I did, I was hoping it would actually help. A polyadrenaline shot. I'm guessing I might need that. And maybe a pacemaker. Let's pick up all these things. They may be useful. Uh, I was hoping to be part of the Tal Shiar and uh, be helpful and everything. I liked it better the other way. I willingly did everything I did. That's hilarious. Got multiple places to go to. Making lemonade. So we need to do a bunch of distractions and it looks like if we collect these things we can do these distractions a lot easier. Just gotta get to these areas. There's the tech room. There is another place back here though. I need to get to... Oh yes, back into the cells. Here we go. Um, a uh, pyrotechnic charge. Okay. All these things will help me. Looking at the map, trying to navigate. Because you can get lost in here. Okay, good. You made it to the lab. Tell me what you see. Well, the described door to lab 02. If you can override the security keypads on these doors, you'll be able to get through them without too much difficulty, but the doors are being watched by both you and the scientists, by both the scientists and the guards in the area. You'll need to distract everyone before you can access them without being caught. Trust me, you don't want to get caught. Distract guard, scientist, hack door. Those scientists look pretty involved with the results of the experiment from earlier. Perhaps you could put together a convincing example of why the Tal Shiar shouldn't be messing around with board technology. See if you can find materials to make it appear as if the patient is reanimating as a Borg drone. A pacemaker or steroid shot and a small subspace beacon should be put on good enough show for a few seconds. Do I have a beacon? I don't know if I have the beacon. 
Zero-wage shark create a false subspace signal. Okay, this one. It will take something big to distract the guards. I think they keep some small pyrotechnic charges in the security office, which I just got. But the lab's fire suppression systems will distinguish the charges quickly. You'll need more time. Be safe. You should first disable the automated mechanism and hide that fire extinguisher on the wall. Oh, there's a lot to do here. Okay, hide fire extinguisher. Nobody's watching. Good. Disable fire suppression system. Again, glad nobody's watching me. They're letting me do whatever I want. Synchronize beacon signal. Probably need to actually implant it first. Let's see. Guess not. Okay, this one is start a fire. Okay, that's going to keep them busy. You're not blowing up. I don't know why. Oh, maybe I need to go in here and do stuff too. Got a neurazine canister. I got all kinds of stuff. Now maybe we can do more things. Okay, this thing. keeping everyone busy yeah they're all chasing and following that okay I got it I think I've almost done everything Oh, there we go. Find Hakeem's personal lab while well, everybody's busy. <laughs> I don't have the access code to that door pad. Luckily, there's no one here to catch you trying to override the security lockout. Okay. Open door. door controls being weird. There we go. By the elements. If the Empress knew about half the things in here, she'd have Hakeev locked up for good. Like what things? Download top secret files. 
You need to get off this ship immediately. All the transporters are locked down because of the red alert. But the security chief has local override codes stored in the terminal in his office. Get there and get the codes. Once you have them, head to the nearest transporter room. I'll contact Tobin Kev and let him know to expect you. He'll have the RRW Hand of Omega in range for a transport. I'm afraid this ends our relationship. I'm staying here. There's still more I can do for the Republic, and I can't be seen talking to you. Go to the transporter get the transporter from the security chief's office. Okay, so that worked. Nobody noticed. And they're still chasing that thing. That guy's still looking for the fire extinguisher. Yeah, you ain't gonna find it there. Okay, let's not get lost. This way, this way, this way. This way, this way, this way. Okay, now get to the transporter room. We didn't have to fight our way through here. There's somebody there though. Oh no! Defeat. Oh, we got. We do have to defeat her. Okay. Input the transporter codes. I'm surprised I still have my weapons. Honestly, they didn't strip them from me. In the real world, they would have. Beam to my ship. Captain on deck. Carry on. Welcome back. We've been following Hakeev's ship since we picked up a subspace transmission from an informant who said you were on board. It's been more than a week since you disappeared at Hobus. We've been searching for you ever since. A week? How are you? What did they do to you? It feels like I've lived through a nightmare. I want to repay them in kind. Or what they did to me, no one should have to go through. We need to stop them. Ooh, I like this. This gives a damage buff. It feels like I lived through a nightmare. I want to repay them in kind. Understood. We're keeping the Romulan Republic apprised of our situation. And they're willing to send in reinforcements on your orders. We're ready to get underway on your command, sir. Let's go. Should I cloak? Let's do that. Our reinforcements from the Romulan Republic have arrived. There's a Borg cube out there. Destroyed one. This is Colonel Hakeem of the IRW Canal. Yeah, Stand cloak, down man. or be dis- You! How did you escape? Well, irrelevant. Irrelevant. Oh. <laughs> You've been a thorn in my side for too long. It's time to- Move it. You're gonna pay for what you did, Aki. Were you this aggressive before our time together? That should have invalidated your candidacy for indoctrination. No matter. I'll just deal with this mistake by destroying you. I'll be more diligent in selecting candidates in the future. I will end your reign of terror.
No! Uh, I was so close. I was so close to um, doing this without blowing up. But in the end, I blew up. Captain, we did it! Hakeem's ship is gone! We did detect an Iconian signal before the Kanaya was destroyed. It was probably Hakeev making his escape through a gateway. Even if he survived, he'll think twice before challenging us again. We're ready to set a new course on your orders. Good. That was a nice little fight there at the end. Very difficult with all those ships, too. Remember, I am in advanced difficulty mode. That was uh, pretty good. That's a pretty neat mission, too. Those files are amazing. I hope you didn't have to do anything too bad to get them. You've done a great deal for the Republic and dealt a serious blow to the Tal Shiar. Thank you. It's people like you who will help finally free our people from oppression and fear. You know, in the end, I just thought it's really not so bad that you did all those bad things on the ship anyway, even if you were playing a good character, because in the end, you end up destroying the entire ship and everybody on it <laughs> in the battle. So whether you play goody two-shoes or bad guy, it really don't matter because you're going to end up killing the everybody on the ship, the entire crew, the ship, and Hakeev's going to get away. So in the end, it doesn't matter if you turn that, that person into a Borg or not because you're going to end up blowing her up when you destroy the ship and anyway at the end. So I just kind of find that ironic. It's interesting, huh? Okay, we're going to get all these things. This deprogrammed ground trait allows the use of a new trait. Ooh, that's going to be cool. And um, this photon torpedo launcher. Let's go ahead and we'll just pick up any old plasma weapon because I'm not going to use it anyway. Congratulations, sir. Command ordered me to contact you with an urgent mission. We've detected an anomaly in the Azure Nebula. Because of the Tholian activity in that area, we're concerned they may be attempting to open a rift to the Mirror Universe. I need a ship to go out there and check it out. So this is basically our first kind of, quote, Klingon mission. Um, we Up to now, it's all been Romulan missions, but now at this one called Temporal Ambassador, it's a, a Klingon contact, Engineer Tumera is contacting us so that's a first and we are sub commander 24 when that's happening so that's interesting but we'll get to that in the next video of course so decline that for now and let's look at our rewards here we have this torpedo and i want to read about this because I don't, I don't know what's disrupting about it uh more details please these modified photon torpedoes are slightly more accurate than their unmodified counterparts and are designed to temporarily reduce the effectiveness of Im enemy armor. So that's what it does, and it is kinetic damage to target. For, so basically, a high accuracy, it can reduce the effectiveness of enemy armor, and it is a photon torpedo, it is not plasma. I'm just going to go ahead and keep the torpedo I have now. I'm happy with that. Uh, we did get this trait thing, which is not in my inventory, which means it must automatically have have been unlocked. It was a it was a ground trait, wasn't it? So does it give me an extra ground trait slot? Because it's if it does, it hasn't. So I'm really not sure what that trait did. Unless it was just a new trait called... Whatever that was called. But then I don't see it here. Under ground traits, I've got aggression, covert mental discipline, natural immunities, mind drain, situational awareness, soldier. I don't see that specific one here. So I'm not sure what it did. I can... Um, Remap load and see if that pops up, but I don't see a new trait option for me. So I'm not quite sure what that did. New trait unlock, but 
Not quite sure. If somebody knows what that trait unlock thing did, let me know. I'm just not seeing it. I'm not seeing what it was or what it did. So I'm not sure. Pretty sure it was ground, though. Well, anyway, yeah, let me know in the comments what that trait unlock did. I'm not sure what, if, what I'm looking at there. And I don't see it anywhere in my inventory. So, yeah, I wonder what that did. Well, anyway, that was a very good mission, and it has moved us to, to Subcommander 24, which, let's see, oh, we gained... Um, Tactical initiative because we are a tactical officer. We gain this in um, a ground ability called tactical initiative So we can check that out when we go on the ground. We can check that ability out Next time and that's pretty much it. We are sub commander 24 got more skills that I'll put somewhere as yeah unlocking here critical chance and severity stuff And I have the impulse expertise maxed out. And if you're curious what that's doing for me, what can I do? I'm already in... Uh, let's go back to New Romulus space and check out what my flight speed and turn rate is right now. That should be increased from what it was previously with the impulse stuff maxed out. Let all my power numbers come to life. It looks like my flight speed is 15.18 and my turn rate is up to 23.5. So you can compare that with past ship, uh, ship videos I did with this one, like the very first video when I got this ship. And you'll see the difference now that I have in flight speed and turn rate. So they are improved on this ship with that maximum skill in impulse. And my power is at 25. And that's definitely helping me on the turn rate and the flight speed. Something I needed, something I needed help with before with this ship and now I got that so that's, that's real nice. That makes this a lot more bearable. Let me tell you, a lot more bearable with a big ship like this. Well, that's what I got for now, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this mission, this episode. And in the next one, we will jump into a Temporal Ambassador. So thank you all for watching, and stay tuned for the next one.